Well, we are finally underway in our first season in the Football League. We're favourites for promotion. We've got a ridiculously goal scorer, top goal scorer. The only thing missing is we're not actually in a promotion spot in the league yet. Time to remedy that. If you weren't in yesterday afternoon's stream, we did do our summer transfer window and played the first few matches of the new season. Um, we didn't do a lot in terms of transfers. We didn't really need to. We had a very good squad that even without bringing in any new players was already considered good enough for a top five finish in League Two. We have, however, brought in a couple of stars. Kevin Dechter is going to be an absolute superstar. Um, he's got six goal contributions from six games on a 7.3. His first six games in professional football. That'll do nicely. Um, we also brought in Phil Scott, who's even better. Phil Scott is now considered one of the best players in League Two. 22 years old, six foot five centre back, already valued over a million pounds at the top end of his range. Four star current ability, five star potential, and uh, he is also great. A 7.18 as his average so far. And we spent money. Bringing this guy in on loan. This one hasn't quite worked out yet. Narula Arici. Um, we are paying Villa actual money. Uh, bear in mind our highest transfer in the club's history was about eight grand. We're paying ten times that to loan this guy for the season because we thought he was going to be the missing piece of the puzzle. And unfortunately, so far, uh, not so much. But, you know, the season is still young. Jamar Hughes is scoring for fun at this level like he was at the level before. Imagine that, step up from non-league to the Football League. I don't know how he made it through the end of the transfer window without a League One club snapping him up, especially because at the time he only had one year left on his contract. He has now signed an extension on double the money. I think that's probably fair. Um, and the league table is looking not like that. Come on, Kev. League table is looking thusly. Um, we have got a game in hand. If we win the game in hand, we go up to third in the league with the top goal scorer. That would do nicely. Football fans, so I swear some football fans watch the matches by just looking at what the scoreline was and deciding from there how well we played. So we only lost 2-0 against Man City. That must mean we played really well. You beat a team 1-0 with a fluked scuffed deflection off of a long ball whereas when the rest of the match was dross oh we must have played really well whereas you can put on a really good performance and be unlucky to lose one nil and we played disastrously football fans just need to watch the football sometimes it's very frustrating rant over it was i enjoyed it it was it was nice it was the first half in particular was nice uh, yeah, Ricky J. Jones. Well, yeah, yeah, Ricky J. Jones gave them lots of trouble. They did swap both their centre backs at half time. One of them was injured, I think. Ake was injured, wasn't he? Um, but yeah, to have a 19 year old striker who's only started about three matches in his career force Man City into changing both centre backs at half time, that's, that's not too shabby, is it? I'm expecting big money bids in for him. It very much felt like we picked a team to try and show the young talent we got right let's do a football come along gentlemen oh that's some lovely football goodness me we're going up as bleeping champions edwards is very good saw links with liverpool after this morning after that performance i mean ronnie edwards is the ta he is the young talent the chairman has been nick has nicknamed him new stadium like a year ago because when we sell him it's going to pay for our new stadium that we're after because he's that good he's been our chairman describes him as the best teenage defender outside of the top four in the premier league which i don't know i don't know if that's an exaggeration he is very 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 good let's be having you i've been playing too much of the norwich save oh top corner here oh look at it he's a good player isn't he oh right let's beat scunthorpe what was that yellow thing over the mouse there? That was weird. I can feel the... Talking of my camera shaking, I can feel the wall shaking. Because Anna's got the washing machine on in the next room. For some reason, I was looking for him in central midfield. I mean, he does play in central midfield, probably more often than he plays up front. So you were looking in the right place. All right, we're, gonna, we're just giving them a little head start here to make the game more interesting. It's boring if you just win every game and there's no threat. Here's our new superstar. 
Oh, young Kevin. Goodrum has not had the electrifying start to life in League Two that I thought he would. After being our best player for a number of years and playing really well on the cup runs against higher level opposition, he is really struggling with this step up. Which is not what I expected from him, really. I'm a little disappointed. We have only had one shot. On I was going to say, we should have won this. We only had one shot on target in the entire match. We only have ourselves to blame. We're nothing without Hughes up front. We need him back quick. How front loaded are the fixtures in this league? I know in the long, in non league, we've played like 35 of our matches by New Year's Day. Hopefully, they're a bit more spread out at this level. So. We don't have Hughes missing for too many of them. Oh, we've got our new director of football in. Pat O'Neill. Is he any good? He is slightly better than the one we had before. Only slightly better, I think. But slightly better is better than not better. That is a slogan to live by. So this was the guy we had before. 11, 8, and 6. They're the crucial things for a director of football. Whereas new guy, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, he's actually quite a lot better. Plus, he's got a beard. Um, we just need to sort out his staff responsibilities. Right, come on, let's do a football. Hughes has got to be fit again soon. We can't go through a whole stream without Hughes. The main reason I wanted to stream today was so I could see him carrying on banging in the goals. Although maybe Conte's going to emerge as a League Two striker. That would be perfect. That would I would just be like the genius of player development if this works. Because Conte's been knocking around for the last couple of years... Getting bits of game time here and there. Established stars ahead of him who we can't get past. The established stars haven't started the season well. So Conte's come in. That's his second goal in consecutive matches, isn't it? I think we might have our League Two striker to partner Hughes. Yeah, he scored against Northampton. He scored again here. Ibrahim Conte at 21 years old might have just become a regular starter in League Two. Which is awesome. I know it took us a while to get out of the National League, but I don't think doing press conferences would have made it go any quicker. Out of interest, why is modding against my sponsor's interests? Because they're, uh, oh, they're an authorised Sega reseller, so they can't promote modding. Or else Sega can't work with them anymore. So they can't have people there paying to promote them promote modding. It just all filters down. It's just all lawyers upon lawyers upon lawyers. That was a nice goal. How's the chair? Currently considering getting a secret lab one. It's great. If anyone from Secret Labs watching and wants to sort me out with a discount code, I could really say some nice things about this chair. For now, I'll just say it's a decent chair and leave it at that. But just know I've got more in me. Got more in me. But I'm not doing it for free. What do you think this is? Is there a discount link for the desk? I haven't got one of them yet. I don't know if I can heartily recommend them because it was such a mess getting the thing delivered. I'm enjoying it now it's here. I can generically say sit-stand desks are great. Whether you need a fancy fully one, you'd probably be okay with one from Ikea. We drop 45 minutes of stream time but you actually end up with more Football Manager content because I don't spend an hour talking about my bum. Perfect. Right, let's do a football. We're losing here. Oh, Tyler Goodrum's arrived. They're all starting to get a feel for League Two now. But if you just work from home and you just sat at a computer all day and you don't have all this extra kit. Oh, I've got this as well. That's a fourth thing that's mounted to it. Microphone arm as well. If you're just gonna, if you're just working from home normally, you don't need a big fancy one like this. Oh, there we go. Am I into crypto? Um, I have some crypto. I'm not like a crypto bro. I have about five percent of my portfolio in crypto, which trading accounts will use. What for crypto? You trying to hack me? <laughs> um, I use Coinbase for trading and then i store it somewhere else that pays interest hey paypal have started letting you buy crypto through them nice and easy to do not an advert 
as a PayPal shareholder, or I am fully on board with this. Oh, I thought that was Big Holman scoring. It wasn't. Very sad. So Mansfield are in the bottom half somewhere, I think, because I didn't see them on that screen. We'll find them in a minute to find out how good they are. But we are... I hope we just carry on rattling in the goals now. We've got the two top scorers in the division up front together, which has been a bit of a rarity for us this year. But if Okoronko and Hughes can start firing on a regular basis, we might have to make them both more attacking instructions. Forget having Goodrum alongside either of them. Get them both doing the attacking stuff. Brilliant. Hey! Lovely, lovely, lovely. If we can grab a winner here, we should go back to the top of the table. Quickly, give me something to rant about. Top flavour of crisp, smoky bacon. No discussion needed. Anyone who disagrees is wrong. Simple. Right, here we go. Ocaron quo's in as well. Come on now. We'll score from the corner. It's fine. We could bring little Holman on and we could have the Holman brothers together. That might be nice. Prawn cocktail and salt and vinegar. You've somehow managed to name the two worst flavours in one five-word message. Oh, little Kev. We don't talk about wars. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about religion. We steer clear of any big issues. I'll talk about crisps all day long. But I'm not going to talk about anything real. What am I making tonight? Well, it would be one of the four things that Gusto have just delivered. I can't remember what's in the box. Shall we have a look? So my four Gusto options for this evening are... Oh, wow, I'm making this. A Marmite beef and onion pastry pie with peas. That's what we're having for tea tonight. Anything with Marmite in, I'm on board. And there's also fish and chips with peas. An American chicken burger with bacon jam. Or a mild chicken curry. We're absolutely having the pie. Marmite for tea. Yes. Right. We will wrap things up there, though, on this stream. I mean, that, we've done exactly what we set out to do. I said I wanted to come in, get some more games under our belt, and get to the top of the league. There we are. 18 games played. We are top of the league. Jamar Hughes is top scorer in the division. Big Holman's one of the best players in the division. Even Tyler Goodrum, who I said has a struggle start, he's top from out of the matches. And he's now got up to a 7.45 average. So although he's not scoring goals or really creating very much anymore, he's still playing very well. So everything else will come, hopefully, for club legend Tyler Goodrum. 